So, how much money do you need? Is it $10,000 a month? Is it $50,000 a month? Is it $100,000 a month? That is what we're gonna be addressing in this video. Now, the reason that this kind of comes about is I was talking with one of my, uh, one of the students within my mentorship programs, and uh, he was listing a number that uh, he thought he needed a month, and he actually came up with a number of uh, $100,000 a month. And I'm like, dude, 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 slow down. Can you explain to me why, like, why do you need that? And uh, he's like, dude, like 100,000, I know that is what I need for my ideal lifestyle. And uh, I basically made him go through an exercise that is taught within an amazing book, uh, Tony Robbins, Money Master Game. I basically made him go through an exercise that I've done, um, that I actually did a little while ago. Uh, now I did this in, I think, April. I'm gonna try and find this for you guys. Yeah, just trying to find it. So I did this in April and April was like, you know, I had just been getting into entrepreneurship for, I, I'd been in it for like four or five months sort of properly. And uh, in April I made 5,001, I don't know if you can see that, 5,100 pounds after tax. Um, so that's roughly $6,500 after tax that is. Um, and yeah, so uh, that was kind of like my starting point and that was only six months ago. And then to get to where I am now, but one thing that I wrote down, which was quite interesting, is I actually wrote down that my ideal lifestyle would cost me, like, I'm talking like financial abundance here, would cost me, one second, let me pull this up, I'm trying to do this one-handed, um, roughly, okay, so it cost me 18,500 pounds, I don't know how well you can see that, uh, 18,500 pounds is uh, how much, like, my ideal, ideal like financial freedom, financial abundance would cost me. Um, and I wrote that six months ago and I thought, hey shit, like in two, three years I'll get there. And uh, I made this, uh, actually much more than this, last month, so six months later. Um, and that's kind of an amazing feeling. But my point is, I was able to do this because I broke down a realistic number and I'm actually gonna jump on my computer here and we're gonna go in, uh, through this exercise together and I'm gonna show you realistically how much money do you actually need for your top, top tier because a lot of you guys are losing by the fact that you're making up all these huge numbers and then they're not, they're not attainable at all or you just get discouraged. They're attainable but you, you get discouraged. Why focus on making $100,000 a month when you haven't even made $10,000 a month? Um, so I'm gonna see you guys on the computer right now and uh, we're gonna go through this exercise and I'm gonna freaking blow your mind and show you, you know, how much your ideal lifestyle will realistically cost you and how close it is. So let's jump on. So guys, let's break this down right now. How much money do you really need? Is it $25,000 per month? $100,000 per month? Maybe half a million dollars per month? There are people who I know who literally are like, dude, I need, I need, I need to make like 10 million a year. And um, let's, uh, <laughs> let's break this down. You see, the problem is is that so many of you guys are making it such a fucking like esoteric, like far-fetched uh, far -fetched thing, your ideal lifestyle, you're, you're like, in, you know, in five years, in 10 years, I could have my ideal lifestyle. It's so much closer than you think. And with the, just all the financial vehicles and everything we have, all the opportunity that we have in front of us, it's possible within the next year. And you literally saw that by the fact that like, everything that I wrote in this book, like you'll see basically there, there were slight adjustments, but my ideal lifestyle and i'm talking like dude this is like once i get this lifestyle like for me i have everything that i would like want and need I, i've done i wrote this in um april end of april six months later here i am i've i have like i don't ha like I, I haven't bought everything on there but like I, i've made that amount of money right so one thing that i was very clever about is like just don't make this fucking far-fetched thing don't think you have to make Ten million dollars, uh, ten, yeah, ten, ten million dollars a year, or like even a million dollars a year. Like it's so much closer than you would ever, ever possibly imagine. So let me just break this down. So living costs slash sort of the boring shit. Rent four thousand dollars. I know for a lot of you guys, like that seems like a lot. I'm actually in the process right now. Um, I'm right after this, I'm heading off to the real estate agents um, because I'm actually about to pick up a place within the next like 45 days. It's a bit hard because it's Christmas and stuff like that. I'm actually going to pick up a, a new apartment and my apartment's going to cost me roughly apartment or hopefully if I can get like a small uh, muse house or something like that, my apartment's going to cost me roughly $5,000 a month. I think 5000 to $5,500 a month. Um, so here I am six months later, literally like living my dream fucking lifestyle. 
Um, so yeah, my, my new place is going to cost me roughly $5,000, $5,500 a month. Uh, I know it seems like a lot, but I live in London. I work at home. Um, you know, like to me, it's, it's literally the most important thing in the world. Um, and yeah, it, uh, literally read a, read a book called happiness hypothesis. Uh, it basically in that book, it breaks down that of all the money can buy you happiness, but of all the things that money can buy, which brings the highest increase in happiness, it's where you live. It's the area you live in. And, um, it's the area you live in. And it's also, you know, what does your physical house look like? So for example, you know, my place, the new place I'm going to get there, I have a few options for $5,500 a month. Like it's not huge. Like I, I you know, if, I'm sure if I go to America or, or a different part of the UK or something, I could literally get a house, like a detached house. But I live in the most expensive area in London, which is the most expensive area, which is the most expensive country, like in this whole fucking, like this whole country. So I, I couldn't be around more multimillionaires, multi-billionaires, and that's the environment that I want to be around. So it's quite a lot, but whatever. So $4,000, um, actually 5,500 now, but let's just keep it 4,000. That's what I wrote down before utilities. Uh, that's just like shit, like phone bills, stuff like that. Um, $750 food, $600 at the beginning of every week. I literally go to whole foods or waitrose. Once again, I do care a lot about nutrition and I just pick up like 10 meals, uh, pre-planned and I eat pretty much the same shit every week. You know, it's always sweet potato egg. It's always, um, a tuna steak. It's always actual steak, uh, with sauteed vegetables. Like I take care of myself, but it's so much cheaper when you plan stuff, uh, stuff ahead and you like, you, you actually cook for yourself. So 600, that's like food if I'm scraping by and I'm not really going out. Okay. So Audi RS seven, this is the fun extravagant stuff. Honestly, I'd love to get an Audi RS seven. I'd love to fucking get a Jaguar F type, but I'm still 17 years old. Um, and there's no way even, like I can buy the car, but I, there's no way I'm ever going to get insured. So Audi RS seven, that's, you know, that's further down the line, but if you finance it and stuff like that, it'll only cost you like $1,500 a month. Yes. I could go for like a, a Lamborghini or a, a Ferrari, but honestly, like I'm still young. <laughs> this is, this would literally be my first car. So, you know, I, I don't really feel need to do that sort of stuff. Travel $1,500. It's fucking cold as shit in London right now. And, uh, unfortunately I literally can't travel. I have a project, a big campaign that I'm working on with this company and uh, I, I'm legally not allowed to leave the country for the next four weeks until this campaign is done uh, because it's worth a lot, hopefully a million dollars in four weeks. Um, so travel, like the, to me, that's super important. Um, like even London right now, you know, you don't have much sunlight, stuff like that, like vitamin D, you know, just that that's exposure to sunlight is so important. So travel, that's another $1,500. Clothes slash gifts, that's $1,500. I literally bought the, the iPhone X. It's in the other room. Like that, that cost, that alone cost me like whatever, like a thousand five hundred dollars. Um, you know, I'm always buying nice stuff for myself, uh, whatnot. I'm actually very clever with my money. Clothes. Once again, I I'd like to spend money. I'd actually, you know, I don't buy. The, I, I don't, I'm not the type of person to buy like the Gucci stuff. You know, I don't really give a fuck about like the Gucci flip flops or like having the designer wall and stuff like that. But I like to like dress well simply because in a business environment, I think it's a huge advantage. Um, so I like to go to places like Ralph Lauren, Massimo Dutti, Hackett. Um, these are just like, you know, they're, they're not Gucci, but like they're actual like nice clothing, uh, for a reasonable price. So that's another thousand five hundred socializing. That is a thousand dollars. Um, once again, that's just kind of like going, like I don't drink, so it's, I don't really have to pay much. Like I don't, I don't pay for much. I don't drink. And then when I go to clubs and stuff like that, I know, promoters and I know people who like the owners of clubs and stuff like that. So I don't ever have to pay for like bottle service and stuff like that, especially cause I don't fucking drink. Um, so socializing that's like a thousand dollars. Um, and the future giving a thousand five hundred dollars. Um, I never talk about sort of giving because I don't, I don't think that that is like, I don't, I don't, th I think if you're talking about what you give or, or, you know, the sort of the, uh, the noble stuff you do, then it's not very noble in of itself, but, um, definitely a lot higher than this number, uh, at this point. So giving a thousand five hundred dollars a month, self-education, a thousand five hundred dollars a month. Once again, that number is a lot higher physically. Now it's funny, as I said, I'm, I, I wrote all of this stuff down last April and then here I am in November, literally like living this life plus more. Um, so it's a total of $16,850 per month. 
So now all you have to do is you have to pick your financial vehicle. You know, you can do personal brand, you can do affiliate marketing, you can do social media marketing, you can do Amazon FBA, you can do drop shipping. I do three of these and I'm gonna get onto Amazon FBA next year as well. You know, I, I do three of these already, personal brand, affiliate marketing and social media marketing. Um, and literally from one financial vehicle in of itself, you can get to that point. So, you know, I, a lot of you guys are, a lot of you guys are losing before you even get started, you know? Um, so my personal brand vehicle alone enabled me to do this. My personal brand made me, my personal brand made me $21,000 last month, I believe it was. This month I haven't tallied up and we're only halfway through, right? Um, and my personal brand is like my, my second business. My main is my social media marketing agency. You know, so um, just pick a, pick a fucking financial vehicle to get you there. And do you see how $16,000 per month isn't as big a stretch now? For example, in social media marketing, you know, if you say you're doing a couple of Facebook ads, you outsource a bit of social media management and growth, you can easily charge your client $2,000 per month. You just need eight, eight clients, guys, and you can automize things like people keep asking me, yes, I am going to come out with a social media marketing course in probably like January or February. Um, because people ask me like, what, you know, do you do a lot of work for your social media marketing agency? No, I don't like I automize everything. Um, so that's literally like it's eight clients, you know, eight clients and you can automize this stuff. So that personal brand, you can easily make $16,000 per month, guys. Like that's, you know, that's a bit of coaching. Uh, that's a bit of, that's a bit of coaching, maybe a few digital products, uh, maybe a few mastermind groups. Like it's not that hard. Um, and, uh, affiliate marketing guys, once again, super easy, especially if you're running it through a personal brand. I mean, that said like this, this number is 16,000 per month. I've done that for my personal brand. I've done that from social media marketing agency. I haven't done that from affiliate marketing. I'll, I'll put my hands up. So I'm not going to say it's super easy, but I know it's very attainable. Um, so the one thing that I do want to keep in mind here is I'm sitting on the other side of this and I'm, you know, I'm going guys, like it's so easy, blah, blah, this, this, that, like in all fairness, I was, I was on, I was in your position where I would sit on the other side of the computer and be like, dude, fuck off. Like I made $3,000 per month. Stop fucking telling me it's easy. But all I can say is, you know, I've been there, I've gone through that path and I can say like, it's possible and it's a lot closer than you think. And uh, the way you feel right now is the same way when I talk to my business mentor, you know, and he goes, Iman, like, this is how you make a hundred thousand dollars per month. And I go, fuck off, dude. Like, like stop being pretentious. Like, you know, like th thanks a lot for telling me it's easy. You know, like for me, it's not easy. So I understand that, you know, we're all at different stages and whatnot, but what I want you to do is I just, I just want to make, I want you to make it a bit easier for yourself guys. Like, Rather than going, shit, I need to make $10, $10 million per, per year. Like, where did that number come from? Where did a million dollars per year come from? You know, look at everything for $16,000 per month. Look at everything I, I get, you know? Look at the sort of lifestyle I have. Do you know how what a million dollars a year is? It's $83,000 per month, you know? <laughs> $83,000 per month, that's like five times this amount. Um, five times the 16,000 per month, you know? So all I want you to, all I want you to do is I want you to stop holding yourself back and I want you to start, like, let yourself have a chance of winning. You guys are losing before you even get started by the fact that you're going for these weird, like esoteric numbers. And by the way, before I got to this $16,000 per month, I started off with, hey, like, like you see that I, basically all of this stuff I got, it's over there, but all this stuff I got was from a Money Master the Game, Tony Robbins, great, great book. Um, look. I start off with just living cost slash boring and I go, I went, okay, shit, let's get to this amount first. And then I go fun extravagant. And then I went to the future, you know, like, so like you stack all of these things and then you eventually get to this sort of like dream lifestyle and all friends for a lot of you guys, like for a lot of you guys, you will genuinely need a hundred thousand dollars per month. For me personally, like I don't, I don't need to fly a private jet. Um, you know, I don't need to stay in an extravagant mansion. It's going to come. I know it's going to come. Um, but like th those are just sort of things that I personally don't really care about as much. Um, you know, even things like I know a lot of you guys want to, you know, talking about socializing, a lot of you guys want to go out and you want to get that bottle service every weekend. You know, you want to buy a fucking table every weekend for $3,000. Stuff like that isn't as important to me. A lot of you guys, like you guys need the latest designer Gucci stuff like that stuff like that's just not as important to me. Uh, whereas stuff like giving self education is super important to me. So it's all just kind of where you're at. But what if there's one takeaway from this is break this down step by step, start with like do go three tiers, top, top level, which is this 
go, what is, um, uh, uh, you know, f like financial security? Uh, what is financial abundance? And then what's financial sort of like extravagance, if that makes sense. So, you know, you see, uh, you see these three tiers here, living cost boring, start off, what's that, then stack with the fun extravagant and then go future, something along those lines. Um, or if you want to be really clever about it, go to Tony Robbins, Money Master the Game. Uh, it's I think it's like $15 or something in the book, just order on Amazon. And that book is incredible and te will pretty much teach you how to do all this stuff. Uh, and then just pick a financial vehicle. This every single one of these can easily make you I would say $30,000 a month, 100%. And then the best part is now you can start mixing and matching and stuff like that. So I hope you really took something from this. If you have, please leave a like uh, and make sure you subscribe. I'm doing lives every three times a week and uh, you get your questions answered live in time, real person. So turn on post notifications if you haven't already. And um, guys, let me know. Once again, this isn't a who has a bigger dick competition. Let me know below. Like w once you jot it down, all these numbers and stuff like that, what does your ideal lifestyle or your abundance lifestyle? Uh, what, what's that number? What's that figure looking like? And how do you intend on getting there? Let me know in the descriptions or in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.